okay. because I've been I've, I've been I've been looking at it for for a while. I'm like, I might I'm, I might have to jump on do uh, do one of the do one of the. I yeah, got I gotta, 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 gotta ask after you know this and this will be after. I gotta ask you where you where where'd you get that background uh, or where'd you get that green square from? I should say. Oh, um. There's a lot of things online that I saw. There was another one that kind of fits on your chair that I might get also. It fits like hooked onto your chair. Okay. So what did they call them? Just green boards or something? It is a green screen, yeah. Green screen. Green screen. Yeah. So it looks like that we are live. Webinar live now, streaming on Facebook. How's everybody doing on this Sunday? Sunday. What's up, Ken? What's up, Brother Smith? Brother Smith, how, what's up, everybody? Well, you know, like we were just talking. I, I just got off a three day virtual uh, training. Basically, the training was basically on. Um, social media, mm -hmm. um, posting, um, things you can do. Um, you know, a lot of this training was based off of, um, I mean, it was, I mean, how I wanna say, it was for newer people, I think coming in the industry. Um, okay. Not so much for people who, I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it, it, you can learn some nuggets even if you've been in it for a while, but most of the people that I saw were folks that were new, new to the platform, new to the, uh, uh, new to social media, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, for, just for, uh, you know, it, uh, intermediate people. It was mostly newer folks that were on there. Gotcha. I gotcha. Um, and that's cool. And a lot of stuff. What it what it did for me, at least for me, it just clarified some stuff that I was already doing. Um, making sure that I was, you know, actually doing the things that need to be done to you know, boost your audience. And then you get, then you get a, um, a free coaching, a mm -hmm. 30 coaching session. <clears throat> you set that up with where, whoever else you need to set it with up with. It was, that was interesting. Um, okay. What, what I'm looking to do, and we could talk about this later too, um, especially with our network marketing company, um, it kind of gave me a little more clarity of how to market that better, how we can mm -hmm. market that. You know, people, if you're in a network marketing, whatever, um, you know, this workshop, we belong to a, an attraction marketing training system called My Lead System Pro. And they put on this weekend a, a virtual uh, level one summit. You want to call it level one summit, level one uh training this just training is usually held in austin texas but because of the health crisis in our communities around the country around the world in the last year they've been only able to do these virtually um so they were talking about how they would like to get back doing those virtually and i always say you know we talked about this before what um what if you could do this both ways? I think a lot of people need to really have that flexibility to give people that, that opportunity. You know, everybody <laughs> don't, you know, right. Everybody don't learn the same. Everybody's not going to learn that same way virtually, but you know, and everybody is not going to be able to make it to Austin, Texas and all that other stuff. So mm -hmm. if, you really, if you're really saying you truly want to help somebody, 
once you have the flexibility to have people who could do it virtually like we just did, you know, we don't know how anything's going to go. I always say, you know, give that, those, give those people that, that, that flexibility to do that. Okay. Because, you know, <clears throat> you're going to need that in, in this, in this day and age. And like I said, we had talked this bef before. I don't see us going back to totally pre-COVID situation. What do you think about that? No, no, I don't. Um, I don't, at least at the very least for the next, for the next, I would say for the next eight, for the next eight, eight to two, at, at, at the very least, eight to twelve months. I I don't see us going back to to the to the way it was per se. It, and I say at the next eight to twelve months, and that could be that could be changed per, permanently. You know. Well, if you think but that, at the very least, the, the next for argument's sake, for the next eight to twelve months. Yeah, but if you think about it realistically. Remember 9-11? 9-11 changed a lot of stuff, too, how we did stuff. Like right. how we board planes, okay? Mm -hmm. you know, how we board planes uh, changed a lot of things. You know, you couldn't take a certain amount of liquids on the plane. You had to take off your tennis shoes or shoes to do some things. I mean, it's just, it, it, it changed a lot of what we or used to or used to doing before 9-11. And right. I'm sure that COVID is really at least at least with 9-11, it wasn't at a pace where you know you were still affected by it because we, you know, had this thing in the air or people carrying this virus thing. But there, granted, there were people who were still um, affected, especially when the, the towers came down especially a lot of first responders had effects after that happened years later. That's they said what die um Donna Summer had died from from she was Yeah, I heard I had heard that. Got cancer and a lot of other people from the asbestos that were in the buildings that you know all right. that people got affected years later. So it it was a after effect um, to people's health in 9-11. Um, but mm -hmm. it didn't, I don't think it shut down. I mean, it, it hurt the economy in some ways, but it didn't shut down the economy like this virus has. Yeah, That's the only difference. And I think now, I was looking at something else online too. This guy was talking about how, he said, we don't expect, you know, everybody said, we want to go back to normal. Well, what's normal? You know, <clears throat> it's not even I don't even like to use the word new normal because he said we 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 need to not expect to go back to a new normal. We need to uh, go to a a different change, move forward. That what COVID did, it exposed the in the inadequacies of the US. Mm -hmm. It exposed people. Their true natures, really. You know, we had all this craziness from Rihanna <clears throat> Taylor to George Floyd to all these yeah. other people being killed over BS. And then we had a president in the office that didn't really, either didn't give a kitty or just totally incompetent all around. And I think there's a combination of the two. What was what, hmm. your thoughts about that? I, you know, you had asked me this before, and this was before, you know, all the all this with COVID and the election had happened. And I answered, I answered you and and I said, the man knows what he's doing. He's just, you know, 
crazy like crazy like a fox, so to speak. But now, when I look with a hindsight always being twenty, of course, no pun intended, but hindsight always being twenty twenty, I would say he he was so engrossed on how he had done things, on how he marketed to people's pain points. He thought that nar narrative would carry him through. Oh, COVID, you, don't let it ruin your life. Don't let it, you know, just ignore it. It's going to go away. That's, that, that's, that was, to me, that was bordering on in, incompetence. And, um, and then, of course, we won't even get into, because that's a whole other show, but, but the way that he had handled, the only way I can lose this election is if it's rigged, you know, it, it just planting a seed out there saying, well, Dan, the election could be rigged if he, if he, if he loses, you know, that he, he thought that narrative, both of those narratives would have, would have gotten him over. All he had to do was put forth the effort um, in, in, in the COVID as he did with, uh, with the effort into saying that the election was rigged, if he would have put a fourth of that effort in, Joe Biden would not be president. Yeah, and I'm, you know, you made a mention about people's pain points. And that was mm -hmm. one of the things in this virtual summit thing I was just got through with this weekend, a three-day training. Mm -hmm. um, they mentioned about marketing, marketing to help people in any venture or marketing or to sell and things. You have to, what we've been saying is you have to hit on those pain points. Okay. Those, those, those things that people are struggling with, uh, those, uh, the pain points. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trump's problem he did that, but Trump had a burr up his ass of having proceed follow the first black president. Okay, he had this burr up his ass about having to deal with a a, a, a black man who more people liked, uh, revered, you know, and all that kind of stuff. That's what, that's what really was his downfall. I mean, anything that Obama would have put in place. Okay. He had to. He had yeah, to I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yes. That's. He had to uh, get rid of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, yeah. And like I said, marketing in any aspect is, is dealing with people's pain points. Okay. Let me, I want to go on here and share something what we did. Uh, Okay, Facebook share. Uh, are we seeing that? You yeah, see my you're face? good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see me. Yeah, this this is one of the social. This is one of the social media blueprints that the uh, attraction marketing class we are uh, site we got. They selling that. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find one of the posts. Okay. It's not okay. Holding on it. Uh, where is it? Uh, I still, I'm having some issues with my Wi Fi. Okay, here's the post. This is a post I put up during, you the one that looked at this because you you mentioned it, you didn't like. This was a post that is kind of what they call like a curiosity post, okay? Mm -hmm. And what I put on there, it says, with the health crisis closing stores and malls, going to virtual learning, how to have a digital mall in a changing environment. So probably people wonder, well, you know, what, what does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things. It means what it says. We, 
a lot of retail stores got affected badly because of this pandemic, okay? Um, a lot of stores are closing, a lot of malls are closing. Uh, what was it? Macy's is laying off another three or 400 people around yeah. the country. Or yeah. 3,000, I don't know. It's a lot of people, put it that way, okay? Um, so we are, like I said, we are in a changing environment um, okay, is my, in my, okay, okay. I'm looking through my laptop too to see if everything's working right. There's a, there's a little bit of a delay. Okay. Yeah, you're from here and there. I can't see. You're all good. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's get all get off here. Um, there's that little bit of delay that's happening. So what's what's happening in this is that we are um, we have to we, we have to adjust to a different environment that's going on, and we have to adjust to a, a, a an environment that may be more virtual. And I'm not saying it's going to be like this all the time, mm -hmm. but think about it. It just just change the attitudes, and I, we we've mentioned this before. You know, before before COVID happened, a lot of people were very skeptical about, you know, especially in the network marketing space about, you know, you cannot build a network marketing business online. It's a relationship business. I hear people always using the phrase, it's a relationship business. We know this. Relationships don't always have to be built face to face. It's this relationship is about communication. If that was the case, if relationships were only be built based off of high touch, then there would be no such thing as online dating. There wouldn't have been no match.com. Um, what's the other? Uh, um, plenty of uh, plenty of fish. Plenty of fish, all those type of Eat things. Harmony. Those, yeah. Those are all virtual things to dating, and they're all about relationships. Mm -hmm. So that notion that people want to spout off that you can only build a network marketing company unless you are face to face it's been proven wrong because right now we had no choice it's just that most network marketing companies didn't know how did not know how to build or use social media to build those relationships first of all the notion that everybody's your prospect or your customer is BS. That got to get out of the notion. That's got to get out of the, the mindset. Okay. Right. And that, that's been big. That's been one of the biggest problems in, in the whole network marketing industry. They act like, you know, they use, they use old school. Um, I don't want to use the term old school, but they use outdated ideologies Mm -hmm. to build a business in the 21st century and, and especially a digital in a digital environment there's not no need to do that um right now like i said we can't go to live events like we used to you know summer conference and all that other stuff everything's virtual mm -hmm. okay you're gonna get the same training you're gonna get the same thing you just not all up under everybody's face which in my opinion, that's fine. I don't care to be all up in everybody's face. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not, I, that's just me. I know there's other people talking about, they, they get so caught up. Well, like even today, Aaron Burke said, well, I miss all the hugs and stuff. Uh, maybe I'm just going, I, I don't need to hug everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I don't right. need to hug everybody. Right, right, right. And I'm not going to hug everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, maybe it's just because, you know, working at, I worked at Time Warner, and during that time, they had the H1N1 shit. Yes. And people yes. were getting sick because they wouldn't stay their ass at home. Mm -hmm. We had the internet. We just didn't have, uh, we didn't have Zoom back then. 
We didn't right. have all this technology we got now where it is applicable right now for you to work at home. But the still notion of even if we weren't virtual or being at home, the thing that applies in network marketing, we used to call it prospecting, you still got to have a, first the thing is you got to build an audience, okay? And this is one of the things that they sh talked about today. Let me see, let me just see if I can do this. Uh, let me try this whiteboard thing, see if I can do this. Okay. Is there a, what I'm looking for, huh. Yeah, just, just letting you know, I can see the board five. Okay, I'm just trying to see, this is, this is the thing, enable annotations for others. That's not what I want. Let me see what I want. What is it that I really want? Um, well, let me just do this. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right or not. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, let, let's use this. Uh, oh, here it is. Text. Okay. First thing you have to build, okay? That's the first thing. You have to build an audience, okay? This is what they were talking about this, this um, today all weekend about online type stuff. The second, the second one is engaging with that audience, okay? Well, I'm not spelling this right. <laughs> got to engage with that audience. And the third, and this is where a lot of people have, you have to sell to that audience, okay? These are three simple things that you need to do. Okay, I spelled that wrong, whatever. Um, these are three simple things you have to do when, when you're building online, okay? Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to engage. Let me see if I can turn that. Does that do that? No, it doesn't let me do that. Um, you have to engage, you have to build, you have to engage, you have to sell. Okay, a lot of times I think in, in, in network marketing, they, 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 they don't, most people don't have an audience. And when I say about audience, I mean, you have to have the right audience. Everybody's not your customer. Everybody's not a prospect, okay? And I always talked about, you know, I, I got a book out about the difference between prospecting and marketing five keys but you got to have an audience before anything else happens you got to have an audience without an audience there's no need in trying to build anything okay um we we talked about building an audience let me see where i have right here building an audience let me look at some notes um and where you can build audience and your biggest, your biggest area of building off an audience is going to be um, areas like, let me just put this in here. Uh, Facebook groups. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Facebook profiles. Okay. We went through all this training to this weekend. Places where you can build um, your audience, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and also, your fan, your Facebook uh, biz page, okay? We did, we, we, these are three places where you can build um, your, your audience. Now, these, Facebook is it has a, one of the biggest platforms. And like I was telling folks 
I use Facebook as a hub, but I also use Facebook as a way to get to other social media things. Now there's other forms to build an audience, um, ads, okay? That's a whole different ball game. Um, that's a whole different training. And we, we were training more or less not, not about building with ads, okay? One of the things that I want everybody to understand, the, the asset that you're going to have on here is your email list, okay? We have talked about this once before, okay? We talked about how your email list is very important. Your email list is, is more important than, than these people. You can use groups, profile, and stuff to get people to your list. Because if these things are shut down, ads start running out or whatever, mm -hmm. at least you'll have these people on your list. This is your true business, people, okay? This is your true business. Even though you're on the other, you know, social media things like, you know, everybody talking about, and uh, what's the thing now, TikToks, um, LinkedIn, Uh, you know, all the other ones. Yeah, the grant. I mean, there's a bunch of other ones. Mm -hmm. you, YouTube, YouTube is a, I don't want to use that. I don't want to say YouTube is a, a, a social media. YouTube is more, YouTube is another one. But YouTube is more, I think YouTube is a training platform, especially with video. Video is a very, engaging uh strategy because even facebook loves video they'll get yeah. they'll show your posts more when you have video especially live video okay now the, the next thing you gotta realize you gotta do once you build this audience here okay you have to uh build the trust factor okay now I've argued about trust, trust in the, in the sense that, you know, people say trust liking factor. Well, the, 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 the one thing I always talk about that is more or less, do they trust, there's trusting what you're saying. Not, not whether they trust you because they have no reason to dislike you or like you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to, 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 to dislike something, you have to have some kind of emotional attachment to somebody. I'm just getting into some little bit psychology. A lot of times they use the, the, the like trust factor a little bit out of context because <clears throat> if you don't know us, unless you've been following and listening to us for a while, and if we say something you don't like, then you know that make you break the trust. But that's because there's a sort of a, an emotional connection or whatever until that happens trust or disliking or disliking really is irrelevant you you're really listening to what the person says that's that's just my thing about it okay um one thing that you to, to, to get things to build that trust is posting something daily okay you can't have a Facebook page, post, page, or whatever, and not do no posting. I got a lot of people, you know, they say they, they, they don't know how to build or they don't use it. Why you got a Facebook page in the first place? You know, the, the thing that a lot of network marketing people don't teach you is what to post. What they, they, most people don't give a shit about your, your, your company, your network marketing company. Mm -hmm. what they everybody's got their own agenda why they're online right or not online or not on social media okay and there's a lot of things that that needs to be done do you know this was part of the training this weekend okay another thing they were talking about engaging with other people Engaging with other people helps also build that trust, rapport, whatever you want to call it. 
Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people wonder, like, what should you post? Well, what are you trying to build? You know, there's a lot of things that people are, are on the bill. If, you, if you're into, sometimes you can use your hobbies, something that's relatable to to the people that you're, your audience is more, you, you're going to try to build an audience that's congruent with really your age group. Me and Kent, right. we're in that, I'm in that, we're in, in, the, in between that. Well, I'm a baby boomer, he's Gen X. We're in that, that, that age range. Okay, what we talk, most of the things that somebody 19, 20 may not relate to us about, probably won't, maybe 30, I would say maybe probably either in the 40s, but late 40s, mm-hmm. because they're just not, you know, they, they don't have our experience, and they weren't around through, through some things that are happening. Mm-hmm. So there's not going to be that relatability. What do, I mean, what does your think about that, Paul? Um, can't. Yeah, it's 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 much easier to build a rapport with someone who has a shared experience, uh, shared ex- experience with with your particular age group. Like, like we were speaking of last week. Like, yeah, as much as much as I love my daughter and my stepsons, there are just some things that that I I will say it, I will say. And it would just, you know, go right over, right over their heads because they haven't had the life experience that someone your age or someone in, in my age group would, would, have, would, have, would have experienced. Right. And most of people don't, you know, from that age group, you know, they're right. They, they're just not their life experience. People are in our age group, we got that in common. I mean, I'm not saying that there, they, there won't be some things some, you know, younger people will have different, you know, you might have some old souls, but that's that's right. not that common and you're going to more relate. And, and, you know, sometimes you can get into, into, and another thing about this, sometimes ethnicity, which a lot of people want to stay away from, mm-hmm. ethnicity, religion, all play a part in all this. A lot of times they exactly. want to say this, but you are more relatable to the people that look like you. Um, have mm-hmm. the same experiences or, or whatever, or religious, whatever it is. I yes. mean, even even some gender. There's a lot of women build face build their businesses on Facebook or social media, and they're based off of more women's groups. Because right. Right. Even some, um, in fact, Aaron was talking about this today. She said, I, "I mean, I've heard her say this once before." She said mm-hmm. something about there was a guy who came on to her and she had just, uh, her alarms went off, you know, her intuition came to her. She said something about him and, and he came on to her. He said, look, I got to get off here because I got a team to teach. And he said, well, give me the link so I want to join. Mm. And she said, nah, I can't do that. Nah, nah, nah. Well, make a long story short, I guess he got pissed off. Yeah. Start bashing her off on social media ah. right? because he couldn't get his way with her. I mean, you know, we all do. You, you, you're we all virtual. You know, my, and I just people sometimes. There's some people that just I don't know. They make it bad for other. They make it bad for the rest of us. Right. Exactly. And yeah. uh, and she was just she was just mentioning. She said, "Listen to your intuition about certain things. So certain mm-hmm. people are not, you know." Ain't good for you. I just got, I've been talking to this guy even during this this whole training thing. I've heard. Now, this guy, he may be watching right now. Okay. Uh, he lives in the Czech Republic. Mm. Online marketing. And from the, from viewing his profile, looked like a, a black guy. I asked him what. How do you end up there or is he from there or whatever? I'm not gonna assume because he's black, he couldn't be from there. You know, yeah, we are right. I, I, yeah, yeah. I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta be be wary of falling into that trap myself, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can't just because somebody a certain ethnicity doesn't mean that they can't be there. You know, black right. folks are all over the place. Right. So, you know, that's why I said, Well, how did you, you know, I said, 
are you from there? I just asked him, was he from there? I'm not, yeah. you know, I don't know. I don't know this guy from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. But, you know, to get, you know, I, and when I looked at his profile, it's still up. Uh, he, he contacted me through uh, Messenger. His name is Desmond, I don't know how to pronounce it, Aka, Akoman. So, you know, so if Desmond, if you're watching, give us a hands up, love or whatever, because we, he just befriended me on Facebook. So, you know, I don't know if he's watching or not. Okay. But um, that's, that, that happened. And a lot of times, you know, I will go into Facebook groups and, is, and watch conversations and engage with them. I don't go into trying to befriend somebody like that. That's not my personality. Because some people might, you know, may you you may not want to do that. Um, I rather have a conversation first, then make a decision whether I want to be friends with them or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like that gets uh, we talk about uh, engaging. That's part of that engagement is that engaging with other people's posts or lives or whatever. One of the biggest things I have mentioned is why I got into this type of business is lifestyle, okay? And what I've, what I've understood over the years, time and money is gonna only thing that you're gonna have to give you the type of lifestyle you want. Most people, when we say lifestyle, they want to do things when they want, how they want, and that takes money and it takes time. Sure does. And I always said, like, um, uh, what's his name? Scott Michael. Scott Michael always talked about why I got into network marketing was to sleep until I'm done. It is unnatural to wake up. How many of y'all out there? Let me ask y'all like they see some engagement. How many of y'all are still getting woke up by an alarm clock or something? Because mm -hmm. you got to go. Regardless if you go to a job, or you're working from home, you're still waking up by an alarm clock. Mm. Okay. What we want to help people is to get away from that, even if you're working at home. Okay. Lifestyle posts help with that. I I put lifestyle posts a lot. I've shown lifestyle posts like when I um, especially when Alice was here, you know, in the summertime, I'm out. Um, lunch with her. Okay. Um, I'll see if I got any. Let me see. Oh, here's one. Here's a, this was at one of her family reunions. This was, was this during the day? Well, yeah, it was during the day. It was on a weekend, but some people got to work on the weekends. Right. Okay. But if you got a business that you can do what you want to do, you ain't got to do that kind of stuff. Okay? Let me get off of that. Did that show up? No, nothing came up yet. Okay. Maybe I... See, there's a, there's a delay here, and I didn't... I don't know. Um, let me see something else. I don't, I don't see that. Well, let me go. And it's uh, I have another one. I don't see. There's another one where we were at. It was in the middle of the day where we were at um, Old Bag of Nails having lunch and stuff. But those are the type of things you show people. <laughs> it's not always so much how much money you make. It's about the freedom. You know, like I said, there's a lot of people that make a lot of money, but they don't have a freedom to do nothing. So why, what's the use in, 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 in having a lot of money if you can't do nothing? Right. Other ways of engaging is con conversations in messenger. Now, this is how I met this guy in, that's living in Prague. Is it Prague? Yeah, Czech, Czech Republic was through instant messenger. In fact, I got... I'm trying to think, did I, I saw a post by him or not a post, but something I saw and I engaged with the conversation. That's how okay. that connection made. Okay. So those are the type of things you do 
when you want to engage with somebody. Now, the last part of this, you gotta learn if you wanna make money, is selling, okay? A lot of people have a big problem with sales, okay? I don't know why people have problems with sales. Selling is something that you do all the time. I always say to people, hey, how did you meet your girlfriend or your wife? Sales is a, is a part of a, a relationship building. You have to sell yourself. Even, even when you're engaging with other people, you still got to sell yourself to them for them to even want to talk to you. So why right. do people got to, see, people got this bad connotation of sales is the, is the, uh, the bad sell, the, what's the, what is the, the car salesman? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Not, sales is every we sell all the time. Mm -hmm. We sell when we unconsciously uh we we sell unconsciously. If you are yeah. on Facebook posting information about your business, you are selling. Okay, there are passive ways of selling, there are direct ways of selling. Okay, right. Once you engage and build a trust with people or that person or group or whatever conversation you want to do one or two things you want to have that conversation okay i'm spelling that wrong you want to have a conversation either on messenger or a facebook uh, well, not Facebook or on a, a Zoom call. Okay. 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 You can do a, a ten minute Zoom call with somebody to to see where they're at, where you can help on, or you can have I don't do these, but still some network marketing do people do three way calls, and you can do this on online with cell phones and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> or you you know you can send them. A lot of times to a, a, a funnel sales page. But a lot of times you have to build that, that trust, that relationship before you do that. Um, if you're selling any type of thing, you know, we're, we're in a virtual world right now. And like I said, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to ever go back to the way we were a year and a half ago. God, you know what's been, I'm thinking about that. I didn't see Alice last summer. It's, on, it's gonna be two years. I got used to her coming to Columbus in the summertime. Yeah, right. It's gonna be two years. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's gonna happen this year because you know, we've had this slow uh, turnout with this vaccine. I, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of different things that didn't happen this year. Um, but this is what we learned, people. One of the things we learned in the, in the uh, workshop, we learned a whole lot of things, but I'm just sharing one of the things. And me and Ken are a part of this attraction marketing um, group. Um, and if you're interested in this, hit us up. Okay, let me get off of you. Hit us up on, on that because we can, um, what's this here? I'm trying to think what this is. Spotlight for everyone. Oh, no, no. Okay. We can do, <clears throat> we can help you with that. In, in our attraction marketing, we have a, we have a, uh, a, a, 30 day trial for a dollar. Okay. In fact, let's 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 do something here. Let me go All back right. here. Uh -huh. Okay, where in the heck is the 
Okay, they're gone. Oh, here it is. This is where I wanted to go. Okay. Uh, okay, pull out here. <clears throat> this is the back office of MLSP people. Um, right here, we have three 30 day trials, depending on what you want to do. We just, I've been to this go for yes thing 30 day, uh, it's a challenge. Um, they give you with these these three gives you thirty days to access to the uh, this platform, this training platform, or we call social media or attraction marketing platform. You get thirty days access to this. Okay, now if you want to learn, get into this posting for profits thing. Thirty days with that, or if you want to learn. Um, Simple list building. List building is a is where you gonna is where your audience is at. You need to understand that that's where you're gonna have your audience. And we, we've been emphasizing that a lot this year, and even the end of last year, we've been emphasizing. Um, and this is a Diane Hockman. Anybody know who Diane Hockman is? Simple list leverage building. She put this thing together, this challenge. So these are the three ones. If you're interested. And um, more about this, let's hit, hit us up. We'll send you the link. Yes, indeed. So, but this is what we've been doing for, uh, I don't know. We've been doing this for, how long I've been? I'm trying to think how long I've been in this damn thing. <laughs> I've been in, I've been this, I've been in, in, in this since, 2012, 13, I don't know, around that time. Yeah, around, around about that time. Yeah. Yeah, because I came on probably like six six or seven months after you after you turned me on to it. Yeah. Now, it's, this is not a business opportunity. A lot of people might think this is. Uh, this is more of a, um, this is more of a, um, a training thing, okay? The training thing. And people, you gotta understand that this is what we do for training um, purposes. And it helps with training. It was the biggest thing that network marketers, the biggest problem network marketers have is, leads in in sales leads in money okay mm -hmm. we've been trial we've been you know you most network marketing people run out of somebody to talk to in the first 30 to 90 days more 30 days once you don't have anybody to talk to about your business it's hard to uh build a business and, and we're talking about businesses about relationships Mm -hmm. And today, more business is about um, making, you know, you got to do it virtually. And the only way you can do it virtually is some of the tools that we're using. We're using like Zoom. I use another one called StreamYard. But you'll learn all that if you decide to join us in one of those things, take on the challenge, the 30-day challenge. With, it's only a dollar, people. Y'all spend more money doing stuff uh, spend more than a dollar on a, a day. This is right. a, a five day challenge for a dollar. Plus, you get 30 days help coaching from the top marketers on MLSP. You can't lose, you can't build, you can't, you know. They didn't have that when me and Kent got on here, they didn't have right. that type of stuff. So, we just we're this here to uh share that information with you. Um, like I said, I just got off of a a virtual this uh level one workshop and they usually have this i paid almost two hundred dollars for a virtual workshop but it included uh another uh thing that we got with it usually the the, the workshop is almost two grand people right right and then including your hotel and 
flying out to Austin, Texas, and you know, all that kind of stuff. I got all this stuff and this information being the comfort of my home for 197. Mm -hmm. And you gotta invest it, you got to invest, if, you, if you're gonna move forward in any business or any um, type of adventure, you gotta move forward. Hey, were you able to, were you able to, um, what's the thing, party, share party on this and that tonight? Uh, I just did it the old, uh, the old fashioned way. I did it. Um, I did it through my, through my, through my, through my, uh, my, my, my page. And then I, I didn't do, I couldn't do a watch party, but I, but I did, I did share, I did share out the video. Okay. I wonder if they took out the watch party thing. Yeah. Cause I haven't been seeing that, uh, you know. I think they have because usually you see everybody and their mother, you know, this so and so started a watch party, so and so started, and I haven't yeah, seen, that. haven't seen that anymore. Yeah, I haven't um, seen that for for about a good little over a month now. I think. You know, they did some updates. You know, Facebook is always updating. Yeah. Um, the watch party helped you engage more, but now. Next week we're gonna do some things in this training. There's a there's a thing that um, Aaron showed was about um, using your phone okay. and the story. Anybody if, are you familiar with the story? Story was supposed what a yeah. live shit you could do with that. And I'm not sure if uh, if Facebook decided well. People are engaging with stories more than watch parties. I don't know. I'm not sure. Right, right. You know, right. We don't know. They're always doing. I gotta get another phone. I just come to the conclusion my phone. <laughs> um, I've had it since 2016. It's time uh, to upgrade. Yeah. Time to break that bread, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's time to upgrade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just bust and get the the 12 Pro Max iPhone. I think. Trust, trust me. Trust me. Yeah, I. I I, it's something I hate doing too. I've had mine because I think mine is due for an upgrade within the, well, they're trying to get me to do it now, but I'm going to try to hold off, hold off another year before I, before I get another. Um, well, we, I got a, there was a thing on, I don't know, Google or somewhere that they're, they're not going to start. They're going to stop uh, all um, updates on uh, 6S. This year, but I'm not sure if they're doing it. They're gonna stop it in September or what? I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm going to um, upgrade it. Now tonight, everybody looking at my background. I'm not even using a green screen tonight. This is a virtual background that you can do on Zoom. Last week I did a, a thing. It was kind of fucked up, but you know. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see me move. There's a little bit diff different things on right here, but you know, um, I don't know. So I, it's it's a virtual it's a virtual background. So you you know, have you gotten this 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 uh, that link information for the for the Zoom yet? Upgraded your Zoom? No. Work live. Not yet. I did not send that to you. Cause you asked me last week, that's why. No, I don't think I got it. I thought I sent it to you. Huh. Oh shit. Um, I'm not sure. Or, you know, <laughs> you can go to uh. You know, MLSP has a thing too. You can upgrade. It's a little more, more. Okay. It's like thirty four dollars. So I mean, you know, there's ways of doing. It. I don't know if I still have that info now. Um, but I thought I sent it. Didn't I send it to you? To let me let, before you do it again. Let me let me check my let me check my my email for the last week and just to be sure. Well, I sent it. I thought I sent it to you once before through Messenger. You need to maybe check through your messenger thing again. I'm looking through messages that I had sent you. Um, I don't know. What is this? 
Zoom something. <clears throat> something else but yeah i got i got this from diane hockman i'm not sure if it's the same price now okay i got it from her and it might be 12 dollars. but you yeah you need to upgrade it so you have the webinar the webinar um part of this because then you can do the things that i'm doing with this now because you're not able to get that you're not able to share on facebook from the basics Okay. I got you. So I'm just trying. Okay. Work life. Work life special. I, it is in, is in a May. I sent it to you May 9th. I, mean, I might have already up, updated it and didn't realize it. Um, if, it was, if, you, if you sent it that far, that that far back i'm gonna send it to you again okay. um i'm sending it to messenger it says the link says special work live us so just check it out okay what's going on here okay i just sent it to you again okay. um but it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a special link yeah, my, my phone yeah. just my phone just chipped chipped me off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um that's what I've been using. I only paying nine dollars a month for it. Okay. It's an inter it's called enterprise level. It gives you a lot of different things. I probably uh, there's probably other things on here I don't know about um that I can do. Um, but it's a good thing to do platform. Like I like I said, you can see I got this virtual background right now okay. um so you can do that kind of stuff you don't want to show your background at home and all that um right. i'm not sure if you can upload let me see it is it, so choose virtual background or choose video filter um it has a facetime hd camera built in there okay well i don't know what that is <laughs> but it allows you to do all that kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I hope I hope you got inf you know uh value from what I just little things that I just shared you from what I Yeah, well like I, uh well I know I did speaking for myself personally. Um but like like you like you say that I mean it's it's nothing like to you get on uh to you get on uh, something like that and do it for yourself. So like I said, uh, in, the, in the near future, when this offered again, yeah, I'm going to, you know, because you, you know when 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 you've got the, the time that you have, folks of us who who are, for whatever reason, we're still working, working, either working from home or working in an office, yeah, you're going to have to set aside that, that block of time. So make and sure... You, and then you you said, yeah, said and then you get the, or if if you got it like that, you can just call 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 because I'm sure the inf the information is is valuable for uh for the uh, uh and, and it's a three day uh the conference lasts for three days, but uh, the the right. information is just valuable. And you get you get the recordings for like a, for seven days or something like this. You can go okay. back. And stuff and, okay. and cr critique more stuff that you want to know what might you miss because it's hard you know i i still had to get up and go do some things um and then you get in that you get interaction with the leaders you know i talked with brian and okay and all those kinds of, so they know what i look like with oh aaron knew what i look like anyway but i don't think i, I don't think brian ever i don't know he may have seen me but i don't know but okay. uh, i get you get that interaction with folks Okay. okay. Right. So right now, um, you know, they got they got. I'm not sure. They were talking about they're not sure if they're going to do another level one this year. They okay. don't. They're not sure when they're going to do the, the second one. They got going to do. A, they just got through with a level three, beginning of the, the year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure when the level. You know, you just got to keep abreast on the when the level one. Exactly. Level two, level two is probably going to be 
and they might be only doing two of those this year. So I don't know. Um, it's just staying connected. Um, like I said, people, we're part of this group um, training. If you want to learn how to do other skills besides what you're doing, because I'm, I'm telling you, no, I don't know. Well, I've only been with one network marketing company. Well, most of them are not teaching some of the stuff that we're learning. They teach you to prospect and chase people either in person or all over the internet. And neither mm -hmm. one of them are that effective. So you're going to have to learn to market. This is what they call, this is network marketing. I always keep saying it's network marketing. It's not prospect marketing. Okay. And it seems like the, the, the industry is always taking the, the, the marketing out of the thing. And you got a network, you know, networking is a, is a different thing. You know, network is not always trying to befriend somebody. It's sure. just having conversations with people. Like I said, there's a, there's a guy I talk with in the Czech Republic. I don't know him from that. I get more, I don't know what it is. I get more stuff from overseas than I do in America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a lot of follow friend things on Instagram. And there's okay. a lot of females, and sometimes I'm thinking, yeah, are you getting? Because I've been noticing this lately. Are you getting a lot of, a lot of folks, a lot of friend? Re I've been getting a lot of friend requests from folks who are doing Bitcoin. We're doing Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, I don't know what they're doing. All I know is that is I'm getting a lot of people friend request or follow me on Instagram. Okay. I don't know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I haven't really engaged with a lot of them. I'm probably I probably Yeah, I I I I'm just still kind of skipping from Bitcoin. So I just kind of, you know Yeah. Ignore the request. <laughs> um you know Bitcoin's a, you know that uh, that's interesting. You know the economy and the dollar the dollar's been losing value for a long time. And mm -hmm. this digital currency is probably going to be part of our lifestyle sooner than we think. And we're probably going to have to learn what, you know, take advantage of certain things to, uh, to understand it. Um, you know, it's just like the, the, I'm trying to think of the term, the name, the blockchain. What I'm really more interested in is the blockchain that all these cryptocurrencies run on. So mm. if you're invested more in the blockchain, it wouldn't matter what they ran on it. Because the blockchain is the same as a platform built on the internet like what the internet used for marketing and sales. Okay. okay? It's just now the Bitcoin and all the things is, a, is another uh distribution highway for banking industry, financial industry. That's basically what it is. Okay, yeah, there's people making buku money, um, but don't you think it'd be more advantageous to, to own the real estate that Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies run on than mm -hmm. just the cryptocurrency? Because mm -hmm. you know, they, they can go by the wayside sometime, but if you own the real estate that they're in, something else come on, you get paid anyway. Right. That's what I'm looking at. I mean, right. that, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Oh, yeah. Well, we're at the top of the hour, 8 o'clock, 8.05. Um, you got any more things to say, Mr. Robinson? Well, Mr. Smith, once again, uh, hey, this was, this was a, what, this was a Good show you at information, information pack, you know, build, engage, sell. Uh, it's, it's a mantra that I think you and I have always, you know, have always uh, adhere, adhere to. But when you, when you hear from someone, uh, someone who's, you know, uh, multi, I shouldn't say multi, multi-millionaire, but they, they're, they're flipped prints in the network market industry are are well documented and this just confirms that the that that 
you and I are both on on the right track when it comes to when it comes to our network marketing businesses. So you know we 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 can gear you gear you all to the to the to the right the to the tools on uh, and how to use them to your to your advantage. So in the long run, you can get back that that freedom that that you want for yourself and your family yeah and it, it's all about you know life that's the lifestyle you can't even if you own a company and you got all the money that's a different lifestyle unless you you, you know you got a bunch of employees that's big business okay but there's still a lot to worry about and manage when you got to do that um, and let's don't get it twisted. I got a cousin who's talking about he wanted to get into me he, he's tired of working, but he wanted to he wanted to get into medical transportation. You know, Ricky. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. Ricky, it takes a lot of money to start traditional business. Takes a lot of money. Ricky's gonna be sixty nine years old. You better think about something that is gonna allow you to have a certain lifestyle and do what you want to do. Instead of having a traditional business and running yourself ragged, I don't. I don't want to get into that kind of stuff. You know right. that 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 takes a lot of time, a lot of money, and dealing with a lot of things that you ain't gonna want to deal with. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, you already worked in the industry, and you should know that that's that mess is something else. You you're gonna have to deal with a whole lot of different things that mm -hmm. you ain't gonna want to deal with. Mm -hmm. I know I don't. I don't, I don't want to be bothered with no traditional business like that. Right. You know, you know, when people say they want to be getting the business, but what kind of business do you want to get into? The internet is a game changer, people. I don't give a shit what everybody else wants to say about it. The internet is a game changer. It allows you to do things, have your own, um, call your shots in your own time. You just, Yeah, you got to show up, you got to work it, but you ain't going to work it like you work a traditional business. Exactly. You know, with the internet connection and some devices, be it a laptop, desktop, or a phone, you can do some damage. You just gotta know how to do it, do it correctly. And that's what this training, what I was on this weekend was all about. So if you want, if you want more interested information, we just showed you different things that you can get involved with for a dollar that being said this is greg smith we're going to be cutting out on here business partner kent robertson we we're here every sunday folks um i think the times are going to be changing within a month where i'm going to go back to about eight o'clock maybe let me see you know because we're getting lighter and lighter it's good it's now the sun sets about what quarter to six yeah. Well, we're, we're in the last, we're in the last uh, week of January coming up, people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the last, this, well, not the last Sunday. This is next to the last Sunday of January. We, we, we're in 24 days in the new year, folks. What have you accomplished? What have you done? What, what have you done to, to move yourself forward for 2021? We're still in the pandemic. That ain't changed. I don't think that's going to change. They're talking about, they're trying to, with the new predator trying to get a hundred thousand, what is a hundred thousand people vaccinated in a hundred days, something like that. Uh, I, I think I, I, I think the goal was a million, and even folks are uh, even folks are like, that's 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 not that's not being bold enough. So we'll see. We'll yeah, see. I thought, what now? I thought so. I thought it was thirteen million now. No, it, it, well, it was with the previous administration. They were, it were twenty million were supposed to be vaccinated by the end of end of the year. I think it may be the actual number. Uh, it is 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 it's just over a million, if not if not get it two million. But I thought I just saw something on MSNBC talking about vaccinating the U.S. was thirteen million. That I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah. serious about I, I don't know. I don't know. I did, yeah. That's what I thought I just saw. 
like a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, even right before the uh, inaugural and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It was just something I thought I saw on there. I said, well, damn, they, they haven't hit no 20 million, but, you know, with with this new administration, they're trying to ramp up. He, he didn't leave a lot for them to work yeah. with. Yeah, that, that folks are talking about that they don't they don't even they don't even have uh, have, have any vaccines vaccines left, you know, for in some states. So uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, with that being said, I hope you got value from tonight's show. Like I said, we're here every Sunday night, seven o'clock. For now, with that being said, I always end the show with, look, people, you may be working from home, but that's not something you control. If you drop dead at your desk, at home, wherever, this is Les Brown saying it. Yo, put your job in the paper before your obituary show up. It's just, it's just what, what it is. Yep, um, indeed, indeed. We got a lot of things to work on. If you're really serious about your your changing things in your business, you know, we, we're, 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 like I said, we're gearing towards the baby boomers and Gen X. We're not saying that younger ones are not invited, but you know what, we're serious about our business. And if you're, if you're serious about moving forward and understanding what we do, hit us up. Come Leave on. a comment down here, people. Leave some Come comments on. down here. I see people looking in. <laughs> you know, I see people looking in. Give us some love. Leave some comments or something. I wonder why they got rid of the watch party. Yeah, the watch party was kind of cool. I kind of liked that. Well, watch hopefully, party helped engagement a lot, too. Right. Hopefully, they, hopefully it's just something that's being revised and they bring it back. So you haven't even seen the link for it anymore. No. Oh, okay. Okay. With that being said, people, peace. Take care. We out of here. Everybody have a good, safe. We'll see you next Sunday.